Question, have you ever been asked this most awkward question? Can you lend me some money? Let's talk about it back in a minute. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How are you doing today? Happy Sunday afternoon. Welcome to the Sunday afternoon chat show. It's always a pleasure to see you. Have you ever been confronted with this awkward question? And it is an awkward question. And you're just feeling like, ouch, yikes, and everything else about it. You know, since this channel is mainly about frugality and saving money, Lending money is the opposite of saving money, and it does present itself in precarious ways. I've given a story a long time ago about what happened to me at a coworker that persistently asked on a monthly basis about a week and a half before payday for 20 bucks. Not that 20 bucks is a lot of money. This was in the middle 80s. I was in my 20s. This person was in their 40s and should have managed their money better. But it was like clockwork every time. And so when I finally discovered what that person was doing with that money, that person wasn't doing anything important. I was cutting down on my groceries while that person was going, running off to the movies and eating popcorn. So it was the principle of the thing. But it was my first lesson of confrontation. So as awkward as it was, I took a cup of coffee. I said, let's have a cup of coffee, my treat. And I sat down with the person and I said, we have to talk. It wasn't easy. I said, we got to stop this. She said, stop what? I said, this monthly asking of money a week and a half before payday. Can't do it. I hated to do that. I didn't like doing that, but I did it. And the good news is never happened again. Just saying, just saying. So I'm going to refer to my notes so I don't miss a beat because I took the time to write these notes and really don't want to miss a beat. (laughs) So I'll put on my teacher glasses, as I call them. Um, Okay, so here's what I decided to, you know, research the topic. And very interesting stuff came up from this. So I researched others' opinions on this very sensitive matter. Here is what the general consensus was. What do you think the general consensus would be on this topic? Do you think people want to lend money to people, even their friends? Yes or no? What do you think? Well, the answer was nine out of 10. The answer was no. (laughs) So in one of my travels and, you know, in this research looking around, I couldn't believe what I read. Someone entered into a, a section of comments somewhere somewhere else. And you know what they said? They said, I, I don't want to get this wrong. So I'm going to have to read this. In one of my travels, someone tested quote, end of quote, a friendship to see if they would do it. Meaning lend that friend money. The friend turned down the loan and the tester friend got very annoyed. Hmm, That's interesting. So what's wrong with, this picture. I could think of a number of things wrong with this picture. So here's what I wrote down. Like I said, I don't want to miss a beat. I think the idea of quote, end of quote, testing, testing of a friendship was absolutely inappropriate. Do you think that was inappropriate? I totally think that was inappropriate. Oh my gosh, it was so wrong. So I think the idea of testing The friendship was absolutely inappropriate. The whole idea of friends testing each other by putting their back against the wall for an answer, just, it just didn't sit right with me. It's just so wrong. Um, So what are your thoughts about this? Yeah, what are your thoughts about that being tested? Did anyone ever do that to you? Just saying, you don't have to tell me, but think about this. Think about this, because I know this is a very sensitive issue and, you know, comments and all this and all that. So... As I continued reading about this, 
the tester person came to the conclusion that their friendship was, quote, end of quote, manure. Now, the quote comes from me. I substituted that word manure. It was a different word. <laughs> I'm just being polite here. But you get the message, okay? And, um, and that was that. I'll be honest with you. If somebody ever pulled that on me, I wouldn't want that friendship. That'd be the last time we ever communicated. That would be like, bye. <laughs> Another interesting thing that I have learned is a method. Now, this is not my idea, but I have to tell you, this is a brilliant idea if someone asks you for money. Another interesting thing that I've learned is a method one may consider using. This is not my idea, but a research discovery. Ta-da! Let's say someone needs a loan of 50 bucks, okay? Consider offering them a $10 an hour type job. You could come up with like things that you really need. Don't like just create a job just to create a job. Think, say, I'll get back to you. And then you carefully think, take a little time, write it down what you might need help with. And there are probably no probability things that you might need some help with at home. And uh, this may work out in a good way for everybody. So things like cleaning, or organizing, things that you've been putting off, things that you need physical assistance with. So this might be a really good idea. And this takes away that stress of the lender and the borrower. Because once that happens, it sort of changes your friendship dynamics around. You know what I mean? It creates an awkwardness. I felt very awkward as, as that coworker you know, kept, you know, every single month. In fact, I used to put the money in, in a glass straw. My daughter used to say, she was a young girl. She said, mommy, why are you putting money in a glass straw? I says, ah, oh, you'll never understand. I, I said, I just put it there in case of an emergency. She said, oh, okay. You know, and then finally she kept asking me, I said, why are you holding in case somebody needs to borrow it? She kind of like looked at me like putting money in a glass straw. What are you doing? But anyway, it was the same money that kept coming back. Don't get me wrong. The person paid me back. But that's not it. It was just like an annoying, awkward thing. The awkwardness. I don't like that awkwardness. And I'm sure many of you don't either. So that's a really good idea. But there is a contingency twist that I thought about. If that person is not receptive to the idea of you exchanging the thought of giving them some little odd jobs and getting paid for it, and they don't want to do it, guess what? You just got your answer that in all probability, that person had zero intention of paying you back. This is my opinion, but it seems logical. That conclusion, does that not seem logical? It seems logical to me. <laughs> so if the person's ready and willing to assist, great. They have good intention and you took away the awkwardness. Everyone's a winner. You get the job done. They get a little money in their pocket. That's fine. So, like I said, if they, they're not into it, mm, 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 red flag. Another option is gifting the money. But there's a problem with that. Somebody might make a career out of it. What do I mean by that? They probably know certain people's attitudes. They go around asking people for incredible amounts of money. And then they know in their heart the other person's not going to do nothing about it not do anything about it. What they're going to do is throw them like some extra money and say, here, yeah. if somebody asks for 5,000 and the person says, I don't have it, but here, take 500. That person walked away with $500 of your hard earned money. And then that person goes to somebody else. They could be doing that all day long as a career. So, you know, taking advantage of people, which I think is absolutely disgusting. Just saying, just saying. But unfortunately, some people are career moochers. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. So here's the toughest option of all. Yeah, it is. Just like that time when I had to confront my coworker, it wasn't easy. I was young. I like hated it. I hated it. But it was a good lesson learned. So I learned a lesson. And I'm helping others now because of that lesson. But sometimes... We have to use a word that could be very, ouch, e yikes. Oh, my gosh. The word no, N-O. What? Yeah. You have to say no. Sometimes you have to say no. Even if it hurts, even if it stings. It may sting for a minute, 
but it's the best thing you can do. Let me know if a video like this is helpful to you. I'd appreciate it. And let me know your thoughts on loaning money to friends and slash or family. There's always exceptions to situations and every unique situation is different. But this is what I discovered on research. So just saying, just saying, have an amazing, fantastic day. I'm going to look for my outro. Sorry for the finger, but I'm recording from my phone. Hang on. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.